Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Bourbon Bar. Wait, we're the, that's that's us. We're the Bourbon Bar. Um, speaking of us being the Bourbon Bar, I'm Holden. That's Lauren. What's, what's the matter? That's Lauren, and uh, so yeah, we are we are here, ready to do this thing. Sorry that uh, technically I'm not late because I did make the live stream for six fifteen. But the reason that it wasn't 6 o'clock is because I had to go pick up a couch. And it's a nice couch, and it was free, but um, I had to go pick it up. So, also, I got some of that bad boy, so maybe I'll crack that open for you guys as a warm-up whiskey or a... Uh, What's that? That is the um, Lost Monarch, not cast strength, the one that Casey picked up for me because it was on sale. Um, but anyway, shot a few big stays. Um, yeah, so we're here. Just, you know, busy as hell as normal, but you know how it is. Um, we are. I was funny. Well, I was running around like a chicken with the head cut off. I but on the couch. I always am. So, um, that being said, hi. What's everyone drinking tonight? How's everyone doing? Everyone having a good Tuesday night? How's the weather around? Because the weather here in Wisconsin is dog shit. It's raining. It's actually not so bad. I cause like it's raining, so it was it was pouring all day today. But uh was it yesterday that it snowed or two days ago? Two days ago. Two days ago. Yesterday too. Two days ago it snowed. Um quite a bit too. A decent no, that day. was four days ago. Yeah. There was some snow over the weekend basically, and it was pretty depressing. Um but it was pretty depressing, but uh Luckily, the rain was able to wash it all out, and it's warmer today, so even though it's raining, like, it wasn't cold. It was, like, 55 degrees and rainy, so, like, I'll take 55 and rainy over 30 and snowing. So, that being said, can't complain. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and say hello to everyone, including Sugar Kitty says meow. Sugar Kitty, cheers to you. Yeah. How are you doing on this fine evening? Um... Dan Bino is here as well, says cheers, Bino in the house, Bino, cheers to you, good sir. Casey from the comforts of his garage where he's smoking a, Casey, I'll let you put it in the chat while you're smoking and drinking, but uh, cheers to you, good sir, thanks for being here. Whiskey Uncensored, my man, says I'm just here for the butt stuff, aren't we all? But. Butt stuff. Um, cheers, dude, welcome to it. Mr. Derek Whiting is here, says cheers everyone, Derek, DJ Derek, how are you doing tonight? Um, welcome to the Lauren Show. It is a Lauren Show, isn't it? I know the shirt. I know. We've been, I'm not going to say we, one one of these days. I've been slacking. I, I know Lauren said she's going to make a shirt, but I too have been slacking. It's just like, ever since I've been on my grind with my diet, I have just been, um, That's yeah. Ever since I've been on the ground of my diet, I've just been, like, not that I'm not in a whiskey drinking mood, because I actually am a lot. Like, I've been wanting to, a, a, a couple glasses of whiskey, but, like, I, I can't drink because it's too many calories, and it's, like, my motivation has just been lackluster for, like, my my videos. I haven't put out videos in a while, too, just because um, my motivation is, and this has been down because I'm spending so much time and effort on going to the gym, working out, eating healthy and flipping couches, but, right, luckily, we got enough now that our taxes are going to get paid off, so, a little bit less of a mad dash, maybe a little bit more focusing on getting some videos out to the good peeps, getting some merch out to the good peeps, but, um, that being said, Peter White's here, says cheers everyone, Peter, Peter, how you doing, Peter, how you doing, Tricky says, I saw all the cast strengths, just today, and they were very nicely priced. Too bad I just bought three other bottles. Ooh. Which bottles did you buy? Probably, let's be honest, it's probably stuff that I haven't heard of. Mm -hmm. Definitely some scotch or something like that. But um, the cast strengths are very good. But if you had to get one of them, I would have got the Pipe Dream cast strength. Uh, actually, normal weather today, we had the rain over the weekend. Oh, interesting. Yeah, our rain was swift and aggressive today, um, but it's okay because it washed all the salt off the road, right? Um, we want something to drink? No. Mm. Okay. Mm. 
She says she's okay. Glenn Dronick Revival 15 today. Wee oui, wee. Oui. Mucho bueno. Sure, he says drinking some backbone triple down at the moment. Backbone triple down. Uh, light whiskey finish and stout barrels. Now that sounds like an inter interesting combination. That would be a fun one to try, but um, Robin Whiting is here. Says cheers, everyone. Cheers to you, Robin. Thanks for being here, Robin. Casey says I am having a brand new cigar by Drew Estate, blackened S84, shade to the black or shade to black. It's a Connecticut wrapper, and it's great so far. Um, it sounds great. This just was a bunch of words. Well, Connecticut wrapper is a lighter one, and um, blackened is the name of the scar, the black and S84s, shade to black. But I'm pretty sure, is that how, is that like aged in blackened barrels, Casey? Is that how that, that went, right? Or something about Metallica or some shit? Um, but anyway, Sugar Duty's here, says yes, scotch bottles today. I bought Spayburn 15, Old Pult Old Pultony um, 12, and two bottles of Murray McDavid Dale Laney. Man, you're loving the scotches. I'll get there one day. One day I'm going to run out of bourbon to buy. Probably not, but it'd be a good goal to have. Um, but it sounds really good. Joshua says, good morning, brother. What? Is that just a pointer finger? Why? Good morning. Good morning to you, Mr. Joshua. Good morning. It's not morning time. I know, but he's a college kid, so he probably woke up an hour ago. He's got Did nothing like done today. Day, it's a Tuesday. I know, I'm just kidding. He works out earlier in the day, too. Um, what does that have to do with the good morning? I, I mean, like, because that means he's not actually, he doesn't actually sleep in that long. Um, okay, guys, so we're doing the Among Us Challenge today, if you guys remember. Um, basically, for the Among Us Challenge, Lauren is going to pick out four bottles of whiskey. Three of those bottles are going to have something random in common, and one of them will be an outlier. And she's going to pour them for me blind. And I'm going to have to guess not only which one is the outlier, but also try to guess um, what the three have in common. So that is what we're um, going to be doing. Um, but I will give you guys some tasting notes on this uh, Lost Monarch because I've never had, well, I did open it up and have like a tiny sip of it. Not much, as you can tell. Um, Maybe, uh, maybe it was even just out of the bottle, but um, I did have a tiny jam. But other than that, this is my first time trying this, and it's very, very uh, good, I've heard. So I'm excited to give you guys some notes. Casey says, no, it's just a Metallica cigar, um, or it's just Metallica cigar. They also have the whiskey, but they have yet to put out a barrel-aged cigar. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Um, I'll gladly smoke one with you. Uh, Joshua says, actually heading to the gym now. Wow, what a slacker. Yeah, this is the perfect figure it out. pump up for the gym. That's why I said to figure it out. It is. <laughs> Have me on doing your cardio. Right? That's what I would do. That's sexual. I mean, it could be. But I was just thinking, I just watch, usually I watch YouTube or, or uh, do something while I'm doing cardio, like watch TV, so it goes by faster. Um... Why do you want your cardio to go by so fast? Because nobody really likes cardio. I don't like cardio. Uh, I don't love cardio, but I don't mind it nowadays because I've been working my way up into that better cardiovascular health. Yeah. So, yeah, I just feel like my heart rate used to be in the 160-ish range for the 20 minutes I did cardio, and then now it's gone down to like 145, 150-ish. So I feel like I'm advancing in my cardiovascular and it's getting easier and easier um every time i do it so yeah 20 minutes is a long time for you it's not well <laughs> technically 20 minutes is a long time for you but we shouldn't get I into that cardio. your parents are watching i just relax that's true i do the cardio you just have enjoyment anyway i do um, in the waiting room drinking coffee yeah um, oh, you're actually talking about real cardio. What um, I don't know. <laughs> uh, do you want something to drink? I don't know. I'm I, not sure. I can make it. <sighs> ah, I was going to put the ice wine in the fridge and I forgot. No, I was thinking about how with the wines, we should, should do a whole like thing with it. do like a pairing. That's what I thought too. I just need to not be on my diet when we do that. 
So, Peter, I'm sorry it's if it's National taking Wine so long, Day. but so we can do it on Wine Day. I would love to just like enjoy the wines that you gave us, and um, even Bourbon or Whiskey Uncensored gave yeah. us a bottle. It's on um, May 25th. So we could do it the, the yeah. Tuesday after. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. perfect. Okay, so that would be <laughs> oh, ideal to be able to actually drink those and then like pair them with stuff and have fun with it. So I'm saving those for when I'm not dieting because wine has an obnoxious amount of calories in it. But that being said, um, are you going to leave? Last honor. I was going to drink this first and then leave. Oh, I thought you already drank some. No, I've been um, nosing it for a little bit here. But Last Monarch, like this, is a, this is a burr ride. So, for the peoples, oh, it doesn't have, it's not like, okay. Well, anyway, it's a blend of a bourbon and a rye, making it a burr rye. Um, it is 90 proof, that's 45% alcohol, made in Sonoma County, California, um, by Redwood Empire, the awesome people over there. It is aged at least three years, so on the nose, let's see if we can... Uh, Let's see if we can tell any of those things here. It honestly smells like like a lot higher than 90 proof. It smells like it has a body. Um, a light spice in here with a good amount of like a, I want to say it's, it's not, it's not like an oak presence, but like it's almost like an oak spice. Or maybe it's just rye spice that I'm getting in here. Um, definitely get a hint of caramel. A little bit of, maybe even a little bit of a light fruit, like, I don't know, a green, a green apple, maybe? Some kind of apple, maybe? Or maybe a red apple? I definitely want to get say I just got a little bit of a light fruit in the nose, but let's get it on the palate. I don't want to, my lips are chapped. And you don't provide me chastic like a good husband. Oh. This, chef's kiss. So this is the first time I'm having it really in a Glen and not like after drinking 130 proof light whiskey, I think. I had had some when Casey and he had the Penelope light whiskey and I had drank this after the light whiskey so my palate was unbalanced there. But first impressions, awesome. I get like a sweet vanilla up front, like a metallic, not a metallic, like a vanilla frosting up front with some light fruit, um, really like nice and a light spice in the finish. Um, I'm going in for a second sip. Yeah, for sure. It's a little caramel there in the palate too, a little bit more um, in the front of the palate, some caramel, bringing that sweetness across. I love the spice that it brings though in the back end, which is super nice. Um, hence it being a burr rye, very typical burr rye, definitely a flagship for sure. I definitely, if I think if I was comparing a normal burr rye, not anything special like limited edition or high proof, just if I, if I got a burr rye, this would probably be a great one to compare it to because this has the aspects I'm looking for with that like spice aspect and that light fruit and sweetness and vanilla and caramel works good for me on my palate. I think I think I enjoy it a lot. Fury says a yikes if that's cardio for sure. Uh, you don't want to know what kind of heart rate us old geezers have. Well, I when I when I was I when I okay get it out. I did did that. So I say one sixty is where I was, but it was actually closer to like when I first started. It was closer to like one seventy. But that only lasted for like the first two or three days that I was 170. I was really struggling with it. So what I do is I, I incline the treadmill, max it out to 15 percent or degrees or whatever they measure it in. And then I put the speed on three and I just walk for 20 minutes. Well, I put the speed on like 2.7 and then every two and a half minutes, I bump it up to three, then 2.7, three kind of like fluctuates a little bit. But um, yeah, so I don't know. I used to run for cardio and my heart rate would get in the 200s and like, I just don't like running. So I just don't do it. It's not sustainable. Um, I like 200 doesn't sound right. 
That sounds excessive. Yeah, it, it, it is. Because that you were unhealthy. Well, no, it's because well, yes, one because I was unhealthy, two because like I was it was, it was like I was running, like not jogging, I was like running. I would do a sprint, and then I cool it down to like a fast jog, and then I'd sprint, 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 and then fast jog. Yeah. Make sure, or, or I used to do steps at when I worked out at college. I used to do step routines. So like um, two feet one stair, one foot one stair, up the stairs sideways, back pedal up the stairs, skip a step, um, like stuff like that. Uh, that stuff really got my heart rate up for sure. Uh, Trudy says Emerald Giant Pipe Dream are both blends of MGP and their own distillate. Uh, then that is a blend of the two. So there are at least four whiskeys blended in there. Oh, peculiar. So is this one also a, not a four grain mash bill or is it? I think we've had this conversation before because the cast strength, um, Lost Monarch right here is a four grain mash bill. Wait, no, it's not. Wait, wait, hold on. So it's 55% they're straight rye and 55% or 45% straight bourbon and they're two bourbons at cast strength. I believe, yeah, that one's got wheat and the other one's got not wheat, barley. So I believe it's a four grain. So, but, um, if I remember correctly, I think that we talked about that and it, this one wasn't a four grain, but I digress. Um, a four leaf whiskey in the chat. Stacy H is here. Says cheers, Lauren and Holden, and everyone. Stacy, cheers to you. Welcome to it. Thanks for stopping in. Um, Shuri says to the to me the lost monarch is really brought to life by the emerald giant in it. I agree. I think I have had pipe dream once, the normal non casting pipe dream. I definitely think this has that layer of of interestingness that the other one's missing. But it's it's quite good. Hashtag leg day. Oh, I hate leg day. But actually, today was chest, back, and shoulders. Tomorrow will be triceps, biceps, and legs. Um. So yeah, are you just about um ready to? You got your bottles picked out that you want to pour. I'm um, sure. I'm not sure. Sure, says done with the intro pour. Was thinking of still lost and cast strength next, but um, I switched to the lost mark instead. That's definitely a daily drinker at thirty two bucks for me. Yeah, for sure. And it's it's great, honestly. Um, I don't have any still lost and cast strength, so I can't tell you which one I'd rather have. But the one time I had lost, or one time I had still lost and it was awesome. Um, I don't. I don't. Um. But I think low proof, keep it easy for warming up, and then bust them is still awesome after. Who says you can't drink both, right? Um, in a skillin ice wine. <laughs> in a skillin. I've never heard of in a skillin. I don't know if she was hearing what we were talking about the ice wine. She must have waited before she said hi. Or Probably. Or was really slow. I might be slow. Um, the regular one is three grain, the cast strength is four grain. That's what I thought we talked about last time. Um, all right, so that being said, yeah. I'm gonna step out. We're sick of listening to you. Uh, Lauren is gonna pour four and then call me a whore. And then she'll call me back in when she's done. So I'm gonna be back. Oh, I'm gonna leave that there. All right, bye everybody. Bye. Hi. Um, I think. Oh my gosh, the dog almost tipped over some Joseph Magnet cigar blend. Okie dokie, so I'm thinking we're tossed, that's it. I'm thinking that we should do, which is this? I think we're gonna do this. I don't know if he's gonna really guess this really easily, but I kinda don't care. So the um let's do this. 
How does this look, guys? Um, are these gonna be like too, too aggressively different? Oh, I got something in my eye. Oof. Okay, I have a feeling I don't think it's proof because this one's 20 or 10, 15% more than this one. But really, it's that. These are the origin ones. Does everyone agree with this? Because nobody gets a choice. Okay, someone remember this. White, red, black, green. That's the order. And this is seven, by the way. No. Yes. Yes. And also, all these bottles are dusty as heck. Just think. He made me go drive like a half hour out of my way to buy these bottles. Just going to be dusty. I don't remember what order we got here. White, red, black, green. All right. Goodness, buddy. Holy shoot. Someone's excited. Um, he must be drinking whiskey. All right. Hi, everybody. I'm back. So, um, you got to scroll up. You're missing a bunch. Keep going. Okay. Hey, did you just lick my foot, dude? Um, Bad Axe Reacts is here. It says, hey, peeps, cheers. Bad Axe Bobby? Is that Bad Axe Bobby? Mm -hmm. Someone says Bobby later. Oh, yes. Bad Axe Bobby is here. Cheers to you, good sir. How are you doing? And also, if, did I read that correct? Birthday boy. Yeah. Oh, happy birthday, Bobby. Bobby. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Um... <laughs> Sure, he says he always has trouble with those bottles. Uh, uh -oh. Just what? He always suck. Just Magnus cigar blend is a floor bottle. Yeah, sometimes. Only when I have yeah, it. Murta like almost knocked it over. Murta, you sick bastard. Yeah, and I know someone later on says a joke about it and says um, this one. <laughs> Beef Bash 1888. Well, guess what? It's both of them, including the good one that I won in a raffle. It's Bash what? 150 and, and 238 or something like that? The good 238 or whatever. 200 something or another. 238. 238 is a hell of a batch. Um, but anyway. Yes, I think it's perfect. I think so too. Years ago when I was working in the Hamilton area, I stated at I stayed at the wineries hotel. That is good stuff, and that in a skillin. Okay, right. I feel like in a skillin means something. Because <laughs> the way he said it. That's good. That is good stuff. That in a skillin. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it is. She is struggling. Just yeah. struggling. Straight struggling. They're really sticky. Struggle busting for sure. Um. Thanks for the birthday wishes. Oh, of course. What do you What you do for your birthday? Anything fun? Did you uh, Did you drink a lot of whiskey? Um, Mason Grishaber. Mason Grishaber here says, "Turning in from gloomy Nina, sad face." Well, I was almost just there. I, I was in Appleton. 
The reason live stream actually started at 615 is because I had to go to Appleton and pick up a couch. But Lauren works in Nina. So, but hey, cheers. Welcome to it. Um, yeah, although at least it was warm out, right? I mean, it may have been rainy, but at least it was rainy in 55, right? I always look at the bright side of things. Not always, but I try to. Um, happy birthday. Everyone just say happy birthday. Yep. So, okay, I got whiskey in front of me. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh, I didn't bring water in here. That's I'm just gonna, it's gonna. You can spit in the cup and drink it. <laughs> That's gross. <laughs> I could spit when I'm on my diet. Like I could taste and spit so I don't get calories from drinking whiskey. That'd be, no, I wouldn't, I wouldn't subject you guys, I wouldn't put you guys through that watching me spit my whiskey out, but we're gonna work our way A to D and D to A. A on this side, D on that side. I don't ever want to use the flight machine anymore. Oh, because you don't set it down. You don't care that I made it for you. I do care. I it just, I usually am rushing to set up live streams, so I just don't have time well, to get everything Maybe you should out. figure yourself out. Maybe I should. That's why the freaking Magnus is on the floor, because it was on the bar, and I had to put it somewhere, and I just threw it on the floor, even though its spot is literally right here. So, that being said, all right, just so you guys know how this works, and I said this earlier, but I'm going to say it again. There are four glasses of whiskey here. Three of these glasses of whiskey have something in common, and one of them is the imposter. So I have to try to figure out which whiskey is the imposter, which one in here, and then I have to try to figure out what the other three whiskeys have in common. So that is the game. Um, I get to smell them and taste them. There's no time limit because, quite frankly, it's already hard enough. Um, but that being said, let's smell glass A. Oh, sweet Jesus. That smells like sweet, desserty goodness. So you're just gonna say it smells like sweet Jesus. Yeah, so I got <laughs> I was gonna say it smells like sweet Jesus. <laughs> um but so I was gonna do a new strategy here today. I'm gonna run through, not do too much, um, not dive into them too much on the nose right away. Um, but I'm just gonna run through them and try to pick out significant differences between them. Just so I don't trick myself into thinking something different. So, starting off, very sweet and desserty on glass A. Glass B. Ooh, I smell like uh, I smell like Doctor Splotch. I should get a sponsor. Can you smell it? A little bit. Um, Less sweet, but still pretty desserty. A little bit more spice on glass B here. Glass C. Glass C kind of smells like MGP or like a high rye something. Definitely has the least amount of dessertiness so far, the most amount of spice and light fruit. Uh, and then glass D here on um, the nose. Okay, Glass D has got some funky, sweet, red fruit, not quite desserty. So far, Glass A definitely seems the most desserty. When I say desserty, I'm thinking like chocolate, caramel, sweet, brown sugar, or dark red fruits, desserty. Um, Now, glass D does have a, a, a does have a significant amount of red fruit. Um, glass C has some more on the light fruit side of things. Both of them smell roughly around the same proof. Um, glass B, glass B doesn't quite smell like either any of them. These two both have fruit, and this one does. Glass B kind of just has more of like um. I want to say some like rye forward notes, not necessarily being a rye, just like some rye forward notes, some like spices, leathery, I don't know, not quite your typical sweet bourbon-esque, whereas glass A, oh, vicious red fruits. First on the nose, First thoughts, B is outlier, but we have, or B is imposter, but 
Um, we got a lot of tasting to do, so I'm not going to judge just based on that. Um, I don't think it's a proof thing because, quite frankly to me, just on the nose, they smell all of a similar proof. Um, that being said, it could just be exact proof, so it could all be 90 and then one's 92. That would really fuck me up. But that would, that would be mean. I don't think you should ever do that. <laughs> because, I do whatever the fuck I want. Oh. First of all. <laughs> oh. She does whatever, the, whatever she wants. That's, that's facts, though. She ain't held down by no man, except for me. You don't in the bed. down, no. <laughs> I don't know about that. I lift you up. Um, yesterday I got a look, a look at Russell's Cam Nelson app for my birthday. A look? Why don't you get a buy? Um, ba, ba, ba. oh shoot, Cheech is the 25th as well. Sweet, I'll have to track him down. Full send. Full send. Wait, it's not his birthday, it just was his birthday. Yesterday was his birthday. Okay. But I didn't see him yesterday, so I say, happy birthday now. And Sugar Kitty's birthday is tomorrow. So, happy early birthday to Sugar Kitty, belated birthday to Bad Axe Bobby, and it looks like a belated birthday to Cheech at Arlino as well. Um, wow, just, what? What the heck's up with this week? So, yeah, holy shit. Is it always, what is, when is like, when is, oh no, that doesn't make any sense. Hmm. I was going to say, when is um, St. Patty's Day? So people work at see, but then the, almost like it takes nine months and don't even, don't make fun of me, okay? My brain didn't compute that nine, yeah. I'm just going to stop talking now. I'm clearly big myself in a hole. Let's go ahead and taste some whiskey on a glass A. Oh, some delicious red fruit. Cinnamon spice, red fruit, no, ah. red fruit, light oak spice maybe, heavy caramel, heavy, the heavy on the red fruit, some caramel, light oak spice maybe, um, kind of reminds me of like a Weller 12 or like a Buffalo Trace product almost, you know, it's, it feels lower proof, um, it could be like a store pick of Buffalo Trace, it could be Eagle Rare. I'm not picking up great. Um, whatever it is, glass A is really good. Yeah, you like that one? Is that your favorite so far? <laughs> yes, it's my favorite so far. <laughs> oh, you're funny. Um, do you want something to drink? What was so funny about that? Because it's the first one I had. Yeah, but you smelled all of them. Well, I mean, I guess, but like... You've had all of them before. Didn't you say is that the best one you've had so far? Because I yeah, haven't so had the other your favorite. One so far. I don't think so. I think I just said, is that your favorite? Oh. oh. <laughs> I don't remember now. Now you're making me second guess myself. <laughs> uh, okay. Why are you trying to liquor me up so bad? I just, I feel like you talk more when you have liquor in you. I probably talk more if you're more entertaining. What? Guys, did you hear this? She thinks I'm not entertaining. People aren't even staying to watch us because you're not talking. It's all on you, okay, Missy? How can you guys leave this cute face? Look at that. What? I wasn't complimenting you. You think I'm funny looking? No. I don't. Um, okay. I'm like a pilgrim. <laughs> Moving on to glass B now. A pilgrim? Why do you look yeah, like a pilgrim? Yeah, like I had like a bonnet on. Like an Amish person? Look like Amish? Um, but doesn't that look like a pilgrim? Maybe I could get a job at Heritage Hill and wear one of those sexy milkmaid dresses. You think so? <laughs> um, Amazing Grishaver says, Grishaver, I hope I'm saying that right. Um, it says, have you given the Ben Holiday Soft Red Wheat Rick House proof a sniff yet? I have not. I saw it once. Okay, that is just like the longest name. Pass on it. Well, it, Ben Holiday is the brand. Soft Red Wheat is the kind of whiskey, um, like the subcategory, and then it's the Rick House proof one, not the normal one. Hmm. So, um, 
<laughs> no, I did not get a chance to smell it. Um, I did see it once in the store, and I was going to buy it for Casey because he had said he wanted it, and I didn't. Um, so I didn't get a tasting. I didn't buy it for myself either. Um, I don't know. I just haven't been – I haven't really been on a whiskey buying kick lately. I've been trying to save money for the stupid taxes, but luckily that's over with. Uh, well, we got checks in the mail, so now I can send a check out, and it'll be over with. Um but yeah, I'm gonna get back into buying whiskey probably soon. I'm not gonna go crazy, um, but maybe I'll get some some cheaper bottles, or maybe dabble into some like um, cheaper scotches. Not that, that scotch and cheap is ever in the same sentence, but um, and maybe some like beginner scotches and stuff. Maybe some Highland Park Twelve or um, Ardbeg or stuff like that. Stuff I know I like that I can just have on the channel. Um, all right, glass B on the pellet. It's bad. Okay. Immediately, Glass B is a higher proof than the rest of them. Also, Glass B is either... I could be wrong. Glass B could either be a burr rye or a rye at a higher proof. It could just be a higher proof and that, that proof is kicking me at some spice, but like... There's not a whole lot of sweetness in there. Do you really think I would have thrown something so easy like proof at you? No. No. <laughs> um, but, anyway, um, notes-wise, I'd say this has some good proof and spice. What, we can drink. what did you think? We could, we could break out one of the beers from our honeymoon. Right now? They're in the fridge. Want me to go grab them? Sure. All right. Mark, let's stay. How funny would it be if I just like <laughs> that'd be fun. That would be really funny. Sure. I'm gonna screw them up one day. It's gonna be so funny. I forgot we had these, to be honest. I know, I saw them in the fridge today. Oh my god. Okay, so Lauren is going to be drinking this beer. In this cup. Cup your face. Right there, from for Quantum Brewing. Um, this is in Buffalo, New York. Right, this one was in Buffalo? Yeah, that one was in Buffalo. Um, and if I recall, it's this is an IPA, IPA right? A it's fruit an IPA. A fruit IPA, and it's thick, isn't it? It was thick. A sour it was IPA. Thick on tap. Thick there. I hope it's still thick. You know how I feel with my thick beard. Oh, yeah. Lauren loves a thicky. It's not that thick. Uh, maybe it's at the bottom. Ooh, it's a cool color. Oh, it's thick. Oh, she's chunky. Oh, oh, yes. Um, uh, alright. Okay, first of all, I'm a professional. She's Second a professional. All, go suck your own cock. Get out of my way. This is mine. What? Did you guys hear just. What? Okay. Lauren's gonna drink her purple beer, tell you guys how it is. I'm gonna get one more sip. It is so fucking good. I hope. I, you think what? you can order these? On I was about to say, I wonder if you can get them anywhere else. Because seriously, I really think this is one of the best beers I've ever had. Really? To be honest. It was so, like, I was pretty drunk when we left that brewery, though. Mm. <laughs> but it still mm -hmm. tastes really good. It tastes exactly the same. Try it. Try it. Try it. Um, Glass B. Not bad. Leaving a little bit left to be desired. It's not the most complex whiskey in the world. It could be a, a high proof bourbon, but it definitely feels like it's got some rye aspects in it. Um, definitely not my favorite one so far, but let's try this beer. So this is a sour IPA, which by the way, perfect combination because the worst part of IPAs for some people, not all, okay, is the I bitterness. Think that I think the sour- It's certain ones because like the station one IPAs aren't like that. But yeah, well that's, those are hazy, it's just a hazy IPA. Them. I think you're supposed to like stir it. 
don't know. But Maybe anyway. A little bit lower. We can it like smells like a fruity IPA, but it also smells like, it smells like that fake wine you get on New Year's when you're a kid, the grape mm -hmm. stuff. Oh, nice. So it, it does. It does, and it tastes just like it too. Like, imagine if, <laughs> imagine if the non-alcoholic grape wine from New Year's got you drunk. What's the percentage in this? That's what that tastes like. Uh, probably six point nine. Oof. No. Lauren's gonna be on the floor after this one. See, now if I drank this beer, that would be sixteen ounces of six point nine percent alcohol beer is like a, that's like a 300 calorie beer worth it yeah drink your whiskey anyway um so yeah b is a little bit you know whatever but i bet c is gonna be better before we go on um sure says we love the lauren show yes we do Mark has licking the bottom of my foot um she does i know what did that one say unconsensual alcohol consumption that didn't make any sense, Josh. I think you need to go read a book and relearn grammar because you're dumb. Uh, anyway. <laughs> I don't even know what consent means. First of all, he didn't spell consensual, right? Oh, consent tool. Consent tool? Josh is a consent tool. <laughs> anyway, uh, Casey says, I would bet that those are Jim Beam Holden. These? Oh, I bet that those are Jim. What's Jim Beam? What's Jim Beam? These? I'm confused. I'm confused. You're talking about this one because it is. What? <laughs> <laughs> Tricky says that, that is quite the color. It really is quite a nice color. It's thick. That'll stay in your mattress. What? What? Damn. Damn. Can you imagine if your pee Ooh. came out just the color of something that you drank instead of oh my just yellow every time? Like I'd literally piss purple. That'd be so cool. Well, how does your body get rid of the color? Filtration. You okay. absorb the color. You absorb it. Casey says a sad boy, sad boy emoji. Which is me crying. Um, yes, by the way, the the super chats and the the memberships are back up. I got the thing in the mail. I verified my address. I added a payment system so that, for the payout stuff. So everything is good. Um, Joshua says, Casey, you smoking a cigar today? He is. He was smoking the blackened cigar, which is from Metallica. Um, grape beer? Yeah, grape beer. It's Lauren likes it. And it's I pretty good. Things. And then Bino says, purple beer. It's purper. Purper. Purper beer, looking good. Yes, the bourbon you are drinking on the live stream is Jim Beam. You cannot buy the beer. I'm depressed. Okay, Casey's saying that these are Jim Beam. I can't tell if he's being sarcastic or serious. Don't remember now? Well, but maybe. Out in a bit. Maybe. Well, he watched it. So, like. Casey's also got on a nicotine high. That's so. true. He's buzzing, he's inebriated. Um, Trivia sure said, did you know if you drink slow gin, you crack pink? <laughs> yeah, just because your intestines fall out? Anyway, uh, okay. I like gin. I like, I like gin drinks, for sure. Oh, they make, um, diet tonic for the soda screaming, by the way. Mm. So you have G&Ts. Love me a G&T. Um, Glass C. Let's say, oh. Tonic has flavor? Huh? Yeah, its flavor is ass. But I thought that was just because it was sparkling water. No, no. Sparkling water is bad, but tonic water is bad. Do you ever Do drink you straight tonic people, water? I have people at work all the time mix gin and ginger beer. Oh, yeah. That's probably so Oh, good. for sure, yeah. Because tonic water, have you ever tasted straight up tonic? The only time I've had tonic is the two times, three times I've had a gin tonic. Tonic tastes horrible. It tastes so bad. My first time having a G&T. It tastes so bad. <sighs> fucking drink some tonic and tell me it tastes good. Why are you being so aggressive The right first now? time I had a G&T, I was uh, blown away by the fact that gin could hide the taste of horrible, horrible tonic that well. 
Tonic I tastes bad. I like my gin and tonics more on the gin side. <laughs> Lauren likes gin with a splash of tonic. Might as well just make her a gin martini. I accidentally poured some on the Lauren pour of a uh, whiskey and coke. <laughs> She didn't want a few weeks ago, and they came back up and asked me for more coke. <laughs> pussy. Yeah, that's what I said, that's pussy. Also, just so you guys know, I hardcore judge men who come in. It's always men. Women are never going to fucking act like this. The men that come in, and they talk about the whiskey we have on the shelf, okay? And they talk like... They like they like I know the things that they say. People. No, the thing is, I know the things they say is just some fucking idiot who thinks he knows what he's talking about because it's not just Holden telling me these things about these certain bourbons. It's like every whiskey person I've ever talked to saying the exact same thing. You know what I mean? Like I'm obviously like trusting these people's opinion more than I'm trusting these stupid idiots at the stupid bar. And then they like um they ask for like ice in it and I'm like so they're gonna take a very low proof whiskey and just water it down and I just think like oh pussy bitch you can't I, even I drink my fucking whiskey without ice in it okay but you're on a channel that drinks whiskey without ice in it I know there's nothing wrong with putting ice in whiskey if, if you like it that way and there's a lot yeah, but don't people come in do. and act like you know more than me and then I ask for ice in your whiskey. Lauren just back there hardcore judging people. Oh, I would 100% judge what what people ask of me. 100%. All these people on here, they're just like, I order low-proof whiskey on ice and love Buffalo Trace. How dare you? Okay, but that's one thing. But when you come in and you're like, <laughs> and then I'm like, the fuck? Like, actually, though. Damn, that beer kicked in fast. <laughs> 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 no, I understand what you're saying though. Sometimes people talk about whiskey and it, it just makes me want to just like, oh, and then it's like, or they say, can I have a glass of that bourbon? And then when I go pull down like brother's bond and then they're like, no, the one next to it. And it's a fucking scotch. It's not the same thing. <laughs> Because that was me at one point and everyone else at one point. You just don't know sometimes, okay? Yes, but did you go up to the bartender and act like you fucking knew everything on this fucking planet? No, no. Definitely not. I can not. totally see you doing that. Listen. Out of every person here, that would be you. Sometimes I, I people would... ask me to mix the beers and I just go, Ugh. what? Yeah. Which ones? Some stupid ones. Sometimes, one time someone asked me to mix like the blonde and the stout, and I thought, okay, it's like a black and tan. Well, like, and then, or a blonde and an IPA would probably be fine. It's like, but uh, then, like, when I'm mixing weird crap together, or like when they know I'm gonna judge them, so they ask for two half pours, and then I just watch them pour it together. I'm like, hey, well, teach your own. Everyone's flavor palette is different. And have you tried it? Do you know it's bad? Okay, well then, it's just like when little kids go up to the soda machine and put a squirt of everything. It doesn't fucking You know what's it. gross? Tonic. You know what's okay? Gin. You know what's amazing? A gin and tonic. You know what? That's all I'm saying. Last time That's I checked, saying. you're supposed to take my side. And if you don't, I'm going to leave you here. Oh, leave me here at my house? With yeah, my and I'm going to take the dog and I'm going to move. So I'm going to move down the road from this bird. From that brewery in Buffalo? I'll I go with you. Ah! You want to stay here, you Buffalo? I'm with Buffalo right now. Tempt me. Actually, I don't know. It's a lot to the, if like. If we moved to Buffalo, we would go to this brewery and eat at that restaurant, and that'd be all we do with our time. I think if I was gonna actually, if like we were gonna actually move, it would have to be somewhere with a. Like, if I was gonna go through the work of moving to a different state and being far away from family, it has to be somewhere with a different climate. Like, I can't just move to another Wisconsin, except just thousands of miles away from everyone we know. You know what I mean? Like, it has to at least be one or two states south. Mm -hmm. I loved Buffalo, though. Like, if I grew up in Buffalo, I would love Buffalo. But, like, trading in snowy Wisconsin for snowy Buffalo is just, like, there's more hills. But other than that, it's pretty similar. But Buffalo is awesome. 
One of the favoriteest places that we went to. Favoriteest? Yep. That's not a word. Okay. Tonic Quinine is very better. Very is much so. Is that the so. Q brand? I think Tonic in general, in general is bitter. Um, real water better. Jim Beam best. <laughs> <laughs> Bino did say it best. That's true. That's fact. Bino is like... Bino is... When I was a grown up, if, if it was a... PBR or Jim Beam, it was Beano's. Yeah. Uh -huh. Good choices, though. Um, Casey says, same at Holden, hate tonic, love G&Ts, never thought I would like them. I know, right? Isn't that crazy how that's, that works? Sounds like a gin guzzling frenzy theme on one day. Gin guzzling frenzy theme one day. We should do that. A gin theme. Ryan Reynolds. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. No. Ryan Reynolds released his aviator gin in a Deadpool bottle. That's all I wanted to say. Go ahead. Before I was rudely interrupted. I was going to say we could have the Sassanac gin. Sassanac gin, we could. I'd love to have the Sassanac whiskey, but someone doesn't want to open it. No! You because it was it. signed by Mr. Sam he Hewen himself. He touched it, he licked it. Are you sure you didn't lick him? No, I didn't want to get kicked out. <laughs> I would have. Oh, oh, you bet I would have. Think about how often I like you. That's, that's true. And it's like it's not like I'm ever gonna see him again. What is he gonna do? Think I'm weird? At least he can remember me. <gasps> oh my god, that was such a good idea. Next time, I'm looking him. Next time, I'm going. Yeah, we told Holden, fucking play hooky. It's a second job that you don't even like. Why can't you just be sick one day? Because... I know it sucks. I know Listen, it sucks, and I know even... you feel bad, so what and so forth, but it's not to play hooky all the time. I'm just saying, you know how your what dad feels time every time his stupid part-timers call in sick and he has to work late? What if I did okay, that to someone? But and stupid no better than the stupid that call in sick all the time versus stupid part-timer who called in sick one time and all the other times he's worked has been an angel or two different things. There's been like two times okay, in my life I've called in sick to work. my dad's buddy that he works with, with the with the jalapenos called him sick, he'd be like, get better, I'll take your shift. If the idiot that he can't fucking stand calls in, that's a completely different story. Well, now I don't have to work at Menards anymore because fucking bitches. Hashtag couch life, baby. Um, <laughs> Derek says we go with Ricky's and you get a club soda instead of tonic. Or gin Ricky's. He goes with gin Ricky's instead Wait, of gin What's a Ricky? A gin ricky is a club soda instead of tonic. Oh, so it tastes better then? Well, I'd imagine it's just... The thing is, the tonic must add something because it tastes way better than just normal gin. I don't know. I honestly have never had club soda. Is that not just sparkling water? Stop asking these questions. I thought tonic was water. Um, Independent Joe is here, says choose a side wisely. Independent Joe. Oh my god. He's here and his glass appeared in my hand full of whiskey. How'd you do that? Are you magic? He hasn't been here in a really long time. I know, it's good to see you, man. Welcome back. I judge that too. People have lives. You know how many people I have been on? I'm just joking. Um, uh, gin Ricky is Holden. with lime how juice. Many, how many live streams have you missed? Too, too many. Yeah, get your fucking shit together. Why can't you just watch a live stream while you're cleaning the couch? What is so difficult about that? I'm not on my phone. You're not playing music when you're cleaning couches? Because I really have a hard time believing that. I am, but I'm not stopping to type like... But you don't have to. You could stop and type hi, and then just whenever you have a second to type. It's the thought that counts. I know. It's just that... Butthole. My mood changes okay. during the season. Ben has stopped in twice his entire time, and people are appreciating that. Ben, I'm, I'm going to put butt stuff on here just for you. Why don't you get a be censored. Your butt? No, I'm not. I'm not. That is close. That's for the Bourbon Bar OnlyFans. Everyone knows this. Bourbon Bar OnlyFans or the bourbonbar.com slash feed finder. You guys know how it works. Don't at me. Um, One day we're actually going to have a Bourbon Bar OnlyFans and we're going to post some nasty things on there. Like, Bourbon bottles and bikinis. 
would be funny. <laughs> um, <laughs> anyway, <laughs> glass C. I did taste it earlier, and it tastes awesome. Probably one of the most intricate and, and full-bodied ones so far. Definitely closer in relation to glass A than glass B, but glass C is definitely kind of in a league of its own almost with the amount of flavor that it's giving. Um, I want to say cinnamon, red fruit, oak, spice, caramel. It's sweet and spicy, but it's like not quite wild turkey, but like well, maybe even wild turkey, but not wild turkey, which I haven't drank wild turkey in a long time. Um, very interesting. Like I said, I definitely think it's closer to glass A um, than B, but... I digress. Right now, I'm not entirely sure uh, what what the theme is here. I actually don't know, really know at all. But glass B. It's because you're not smart enough. I can go for a snack. Me too, since I haven't ate dinner. Here comes. Oh. Okay, so glass A, C, and D all have a grape, red fruit. D almost has like a grapey you note. Know? Not like Eagle Rare Grape, maybe, but definitely some darker, juicy red fruits on A, C, and D. And B just is missing out. Um, Top Shop Dusty says, I'm not sure if I got the context, but you're going to do OnlyFans. And then he spells Lauren, L-A-U-R-E-N, and says, don't do it. Well, luckily, well, whichever Lauren he's talking to, it's not you, because <laughs> yours is spelled with an O. But... Maybe I would do it. We would never... Get some extra cash. We would never actually do it I nakedly. Do, I still low-key wish that when I got my toenail broken off, that we should have documented it and posted it online for money. Yeah, see, like, I, I don't condone, like, I would never want, like, my wife or children to be on like, OnlyFans selling their bodies. Now it's, like, all, all the way grown back, well, and I it's, could, like, I feel like I missed an opportunity. I, I could give a shit if someone's buying pictures of my wife's feet, like, who cares? You know what I mean? Like... Are my feet cute enough <laughs> besides my one toe, do you think, to, to have some... But I don't know. Some men want, like their feet nasty. My feet are small, and my toes are like small as well. I don't have like finger looking toes. So. Uh, Whiskey and Sussex says Holden doesn't actually like to be part of the community. I'm a little bitch. I am a little bitch. I do like to be part of the community. I just. Life, man. Life. Uh, Laura, did you drink the French wine yet? If not, share it just like Holden doesn't share his time. With the rest of us to do. Ouch! We're gonna do a wine episode and it's gonna consist of the wives and the honeymoon, so you're just gonna have to wait. I hope you might not even be here for that video because he'll probably be busy sucking some other dude's asshole. That okay. was so out of pocket. You're not even halfway done the, with the beer yet and you're you being told me to be wild. more talkative That's because true. I was boring. That's true. So what do you Look want? Here, we're five viewers up since the last time you were talkative. Anyway, um, we, I don't, you weren't here before when we talked about it, but. I'm on an extreme strict diet right now, halfway done. Um, when the diet is over, on, May, on National Wine Day, I think we were waiting for, which is May 25th, right? Yes. Um, either on that day or the week of National Wine Day. No, that's a Saturday. Okay, so the, the Tuesday after? The Tuesday after National Wine Day or whatever it is, we're going to be doing, Peter gave us two items. All right, please stop lagging. Turn your Wi-Fi off. My Wi-Fi is off. Well, I don't have my phone on. Hold on. Please stop lagging. Turn your Wi-Fi off. I wonder if they can hear me the whole time. Okay, well, anyway, it's back. Stupid T-Mobile. God, those guys suck. Um, anyway. 
What I was trying to say is that we are going to be doing a wine stream. There's going to be a charcuterie board. We're going to be drinking all the wine from you guys from the honeymoon um, and just diving into it, just going nuts. Because I can't afford the calories for that right now, but I'm in desperate need of a wine day. I've been kind of craving wine recently. Not sure why. Love wine, though. Um, Independent Joe says, I prefer showing my feet on bignaturaltoes.com. Well, well, there's nothing natural about these toes, okay? I got some. Are you like your beard? Long, hairy guys. Yeah, well. I just got some hairy-ass fucking toes. They grow like, like a that's, cold that's the, the natural. That's the natural part of his toes. It's naturally hairy. Um, I will say that I don't really have hairy toes. Dustin like says a lot of ladies have hairy toes. Dustin like, says, please for the love of God, keep your nasty toes, nasty feet off. First camp. of all, my toes are not nasty, but they do. And he says, okay, I'm out. Gross feet, dusty. First of all, cheers to you. I don't think I said that when you got in. Um, second of all, my brother is the same way as you. He is not a feet guy, but I mean, quite frankly, I'm not a feet guy. And oh, shut up. You literally only say that because you want to fit in with the majority of people that don't like feet, but you have zero problems with feet. Okay, having no problems with feet and not being a feet guy. You know feet guys like okay, getting wanked off of feet, No, right? hold in. I'm just telling no, you. No, because you're, you make it sound like you like don't want to touch my feet, but you do touch my feet. No, I, you rub I your don't want to suck on me at on night your feet. What I mean by I say I'm not a feet guy is that I would not find pleasure in sticking your toes in my mouth. Okay. Okay, that's but you not would a feet guy. if I found pleasure in that, so I want to hear it. I don't know. I think Lauren is a feet girl. I just personally like have problems when your toes are so hairy. <laughs> like, why are your toes have so much hair on them holding? Your toes have more hair because than like I'm a man. Okay. That's not normal. Look at this hair. This hair. Okay, Warbling Wyvern is here. It says, there's people that buy bath water. You can make money on anything nowadays. Yes. Yeah, but... Too racy for the internet. Too racy for the internet. Like that movie. Welcome to it, Warbling Wyvern, Randy. Cheers to you, good sir. Um, you're right. Maybe I should be selling my bath water. Or... I bet... There's probably people out there who buy fecal matter. Just saying. Probably. Um, Trudy says, ooh, a wine special on the Lauren show. I'm not sure Kitty's just like, uh, <laughs> he's just like passing everything else. Enough of this talk. I'm, I'm and then ready literally for wine. the next episode is dick and buttholes. <laughs> dick and butthole only diet. <laughs> yes. Yes, for sure. That's what I'm on. Um, and Charcucci, mmm, tasty. Yeah, I love Charcucci. Shark Coochie. Um, yeah, no, I'm gonna get some, like, nice Italian meats, some Wisconsin cheeses, I'm gonna get some chocolates, get some fruit. Oh, it's gonna be so good. I'm so ready I'm for it. I'm just, like, a fancy charcuterie board to use. That's true. Uh, hey, he says, mmm, Redwood Empire. Hang in, you missed it, man. Welcome to it, first of all. But you missed it. I was drinking your favorite you just get here? bottle earlier. Yeah. Oh. Um, I was drinking the Last Monarch earlier. The normal one, I got it. So uh, feel free to go back and then rewatch it. But it, it's really good. I really enjoy it. Um, smells like feet and corn chips, for sure. Hobbit? Wait, what's corn chips? Why does it smell like corn chips? Because what is the point of friendship? It's a very it is very normal for men to have hairy toes. Hashtag I know, don't but like, me. Like there's a difference between having hair on your toes and your toes looking like Holden's hairy fucking toes. I mean, why is there so much hair? It grows long, like long. Oh, it grows like, like a centimeter. What fucking centimeters are you looking at? It's like three centimeters. There's literally no more than a centimeter and a half. Let me see. Bring it up here. I, just, I just had it up here. I'm not bringing it up here again. Uh, Trudy says, if we are selling anything now, maybe this is a good time to discuss the cat's new venture in cybercurrency, PooCoin. What? <laughs> Say what? <laughs> sure, Katie, are you selling cat poop? <laughs> because that's awesome. <laughs> if, you can, if you can make a killing off cat poop, super epic. That would be great. Imagine your cat paying for itself just because it poops. Do you remember the time where I was swirling my beer and it like, shoo, on the cup? Yes. Maybe we shouldn't do that with a completely staining 
dark purple beer. What the fuck's it gonna stain? My <clears throat> favorite forty and under bottle, you bet. Favorite forty and under bottle, you bet. It's great. I don't know if it's favorite forty and under, but it's damn close. It's definitely a mainstay. Definitely one that I don't think I want to be off my shelf ever. Um, and that I would recommend to a lot of people, especially if people like um, bourbons, they want to get into rye, or they like rye, want to get into bourbons, or they just want a rye to try. That mine. I know. I'm a poet, and I didn't even know it. Okay, back to the whiskey. What are you talking about? Glass D. It, what did I say? Glass D was good, right? Please don't ask, because I wasn't listening. Oh, yeah, I said Glass D had a lot of um, red fruit and spice, right? That was D, right? Or was that C? Um, maybe was I don't know. C. Right now, I really think the outlier is B. I really do. The, the imposta. But what? The imposta. I don't know. That's the problem. See, these all have red fruit, and then this could Would be. Would I know what had red fruit in it? No, that's what I'm saying. So it's not really a, a category that we can do. That no. That's listen, accurate? listen. Just because it has red fruit doesn't mean I'm talking about the notes. It could be the type of whiskey. Now, this one could be a rye, or it could be a high rye mash bill. It could be a burr rye. It could be. Okay, I want to throw another thing at you. Do you think I looked at the mash bills? You really don't know the difference between a rye and a bourbon, Michelle? Well, I do, but if it's just a high rye bourbon, I don't know unless you look at the mash bill and I'll say it. Okay, fair. Well, so now we got to start thinking um, on the paths of... Maybe we, bottle shape isn't even out of the question. No idea what it would be, but um, I would start thinking on the paths now of brands. And what do I know that has a lot of red fruit and spice? Turkey products. Unfortunately, none of these reminded me of turkey products. Now, what else has a lot of red fruit? Buffalo Trace products. Glass A could be Weller 12. Glass C could be E.H. Taylor single barrel. Single barrel. But the odds of Lauren taking off the cap and pulling something out of the tube to pour on the live stream is very slim. So... Right now, I'm not looking too pretty. But what I, I can confidently say is I think Glass B is the outlier. And then for my guess, because honestly, I don't know for sure. But I'm going to say the reason Glass B is an outlier is because... Oh, we can look... Hold on. So... I'll, see... They're all so good, and the glass B is just... And it totally could be proof! She could have been faking me out before, saying that it wasn't a proof thing. Glass B is miles proof ahead of the rest of these. I'm going to say glass B is the outlier, and... It's because Glass B is cask strength, and the rest of them are not. Mm -mm. Because, so Lauren said no. You guys couldn't hear that. Okay. Let's start here. Is Glass B the outlier? I feel like that's cheating. What? I have my guesses in already. I was already wrong for one of them. Glass B is... Yeah, it is. Is the outlier? Okay, so I was right. Glass B is clearly the imposta. Glass B was acting sus since the beginning, honestly. It's like, Glass B didn't even want to be here. He wanted, didn't even want to be here. Okay, so Glass B, clear imposta. That was night and day. Glass B is high proof. More spicy. Is Glass B... These three are bourbons. Glass B is a rye. Nope. These three are Buffalo Trace, no. Glass B. Fuck. Okay, okay, okay. I honestly... These three are weeded, Glass B is not. No. Fuck. 
You wouldn't even know if friends are weighted in harmony, yeah. would you? <laughs> I mean, it could be, I'm not sure, but that's not what You need to learn some of these things the more that we do this game, because you gotta kind of delve into those more. I'm thinking of all these extravagant things. It's probably something stupid, like, this one's in a taller bottle than the rest. No. <sighs> okay. I'm gonna say... I don't even know anymore. Glass B. I don't know. I actually think I'm stumped now. Uh, I think I can only have so many guesses before we reveal it. But you want to be done? let me read through the comments, and I think I'll, what I'll have you do is I'll have you um, start with Glass B and tell me what that one is, and I'll try to see if it's. If I could pick something out, but Whiskey on Sensor says, No wonder why Lauren is so angry at you if you're only capable of growing one to three centimeters. You got me there. I may not be able to touch the bottom of a tuna can, but I can sure dent the sides. I don't get the joke. Because it's girthy, but not long. So, so it's like a hockey puck? <laughs> yeah. What is that going to do for me? I think it's I got just a, by a mosquito. A mosquito? It's March. Look at it. I'm sorry. Um, they're wrecked from the litter box to the new to a new cyber currency, new poo coin. Mind every day. So who's interested? Catpoop stinks like butt. I would I would invest in that stock. I definitely don't want some cat poop for myself though. To be fair, uh, Hannah G says, "Well, a warmer weather summer sipper king for sure." A warmer weather summer sipper came for sure when he's talking about the lost monarch. And that you are correct, good friend. Uh, hey, he says, I'm still looking for a Redwood Empire t-shirts with that artwork. Oh, I know. Why don't they have that? That's That artwork is so good. It's so good. Um, anyway. Him being small is a source, a source subject. Casey, you know what? Just because you have a 10 inch dong doesn't make doesn't mean you can make fun of the rest of us, okay? Um sure your kitty has a link to our merch. Hang it, do you even look? Come on, man. Um Independent Joe's laughing. Uh all this dong talk. Um Casey Tizzler, no one is getting uh sore with that small <laughs> growth. <laughs> Ouch, my feelings are hurt. Um, okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have Lauren reveal Glass B, which I have found out is the imposter. So technically, I win the game. I don't know why it's no, the imposter. No, you have to get both to win the game. You only have won fifty percent. I won fifty percent of the game. Okay, Lauren, what is in Glass B? Hold on, hold on, hold on. What do you think it is? Is it is it in Logic Craig Barrel Proof? No. It's high proof. It's something cast strength. It might have a little nut. Can you just move it? It might have a little nut. Is it Booker's? No. Alright, go ahead. It's this one. Of course. There's the nut. How did I... How did I... Okay, Glass B is a Barstown Discovery Series 7, um, which has Kentucky 12, Kentucky 12, um, Ontario 12, Indiana 12, and Tennessee 17. So, two Kentucky whiskeys, a Canadian whiskey, MGP, and Dickel, which, remember when I said there's a nut in there? That would be your Dickel, baby. Why did this not... Smell is good. Maybe it's just because I was drinking low proof for the rest of them. I don't know. Okay. These three are single barrels. This one's not. No. No. These three are one whiskey. This is blended. You wouldn't know that. Um. Fuck. Can I just tell you, because I can't listen to you try anymore. No, 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 don't tell me, just reveal one bottle at a time. If I reveal one bottle, you're going to guess it. Okay, that's fine. Okay, okay do glass A. 
I dropped it on the floor and I need help raving it. Can you grab it? It's on the floor right there. Oh my god. Move. I'll I get it. You, you need to move out of my way. I need you to move. Uh, I think it's up now because your fat, juicy ass was in the way. Uh, well, good news is that this bottle will survive a fall. Okay. <laughs> Well, after that very exciting five <laughs> seconds, oh my gosh. Okay. That Where's one was his knee. Uh, okay. Which one is this? A? A. Bardstown Origin Series. This one is the High Ride, right? I don't know why you're asking me that question. Yes. This one is the High Ride. They're all Barstown Origin except for that one, isn't it? Yeah. That's so easy. And but you didn't get it. <laughs> Stupid. Okay. Now, what did I say about this one? Said sweet, desserty. You said what's your favorite? No, I didn't. No, I didn't. I said it was my favorite when I hadn't drank any of the rest of them. I need a snack. Realistically, I think C is my favorite. So. That being said, which one is C? Is it the weeded bourbon? C is the black one. Yep. So the weeded. Wait, so D is the rye? D is the green one. That's a rye. That's intriguing. Mark the move. Okay, so glass C it was the Bottom and Bond Origin series, which is their weeded whiskey. And glass, oh fuck. C, oh fuck. <laughs> These things are slippery. What the hell? Uh, glass D. I have a D. dust on them. Glass D is the rye, which did not expect. This one makes sense. This one makes hella sense. Love the, the weeded bourbon, the bottle and bond, and those desserty notes. Dead giveaway. Could be weeded. Um, this one. This is the Barstown Origin Series. Um, stray rye whiskey. Oh, finished and toasted cherry wood and oak barrels. So it's a finished, which is where that red fruit comes from. That, okay. So, and you know, I did say it had a lot of spice. I said it could be a high rye, right? Did I say something like that? I don't know. Guys, yeah, there you have it. So, overall, I picked out the imposter, but I killed him for no reason. So technically, if we were playing Among Us, I would have won. But unfortunately, the Whiskey Among Us game is not the same. However, that was a little fun. That was that was good. I actually think I did pretty well. I think. Do you think you'll ever beat me? I. <gasps> Marta. You think that eventually he would care about hitting his head? No, he's just a big goober. Um, I think one day I might get it. Um, if it's an easy one, but like, I gotta think, like, I'm thinking like a whiskey drinker. I gotta think like a not whiskey drinker. No, you gotta think like a bitch that wants to win. You get so mad that I'm not competitive, and then the one thing I'm competitive at, you suck. <laughs> Listen, okay? This is hard, first of all. Second of all, I'm thinking like mash bills, proofs, and like the whiskeys. And here it's just because they're all Bardstown Origin series and that, and that's part of the game. I'm not even mad that you did that. I'm just saying it's quite hard to guess that. You know? Like that was totally part of the prompt. I, really I thought told that her. you were going to be able to guess that they were all the same brand. They all tasted similar, except for this one, which this one has six, you five really different. You pick out the dickle in it, and then you immediately think it's disco. Yeah. And then, but you didn't do that. It says five different brands in it, and these three are all the same. And I thought these three tasted similar, and that one didn't. Hence the um, imposter. But overall, quite interesting, I'd say. Um, uh, but that being said, with a little nut, yes, yes, please. Uh, who doesn't love a little nut? JD. God, I. Uh, it's the nickel. It is the nickel. I know. 
To me, Dicko is mostly vanilla. The nut is from Heaven Hill in the mix. Really. I don't know. I know Dickel does have a lot of vanilla. I, I really like Disco 7. I don't... And the more I smell this and the longer it's been sitting on the table, of course, um, the better I enjoy it. But definitely when I first had it, I was like, fuck, this is hot and spicy and just high proof. And it had nothing to do with the rest of them. Um, Hank says I had Dickel 8 year last night. I bought it for 15 on clearance. It was a great $15 whiskey, but not at 30 Oh, well. It's a, yeah, it's not bad. The Dickel 8's not bad. Um, doesn't Bartertown use Dickel? Indeed it does. Um, well, sometimes they do in their blends. The Origin Series is all Bardstown juice. So 100% from Bardstown distillate that they've aged. Most of them are four years, four years, six years. So, um, Hank says, okay, I do get tons of red fruit from Dickel. Fungus Among Us. Uh, Holden, I'm excited to try and guess whiskey against you one day. That was a fun live stream. Yeah, no, dude. April 9th? No, wait, we were already doing something on April 9th for our live stream, weren't we? No, I think April 9th is the day that I... I know, I meant like me and him. I thought we already had a plan for our live stream right, on April 9th. I don't know what it was. Me either. We'll have to talk about it. We'll figure it out. It's why I said to figure it out, but... Um, Holden will give you the shortest stool to sit on because you're taller. Yeah, well... Maybe I'll help push in his stool. What is anyway, um, that being said, guys, thank you all for being here. That's about time we wrap it up. Um, Lost Monarch, not cast strength. Very good. Great whiskey. Honestly, I think better than cast strength. Um, Barstown Disco 7. Clearly an imposter, but it can feel a little aggressive if you drink it with small approved whiskeys, but I like it a lot. These three were all very good. Very good. Like, when I drank these, I didn't think, like, oh, this is, like, okay whiskey. I thought, like, oh, this is fucking good whiskey. Um, fucking good whiskey. Fucking good whiskey, mate. Alright. Figure it out. Uh, ow. Um, that being said, guys, thank you all for being here. I had a lot of fun tonight, actually. Um, Lauren had a lot of fun, too. She's just sipping on her beer, sticking her tongue out like a wild thing. Oh, my tongue's purple. Um, her and her purple tongue. Um, but, guys, make sure you guys are checking out all the other channels that are on tonight. Um, 2109 is normally on, um, the Bourbon Junkies are on, maybe even Bad Axe Bobby might be on, um, I don't really know, but Sugar Kitty definitely would know, and he's definitely the kind of guy who would put it in the chat, so, part of the TGIT, thank God it's Tuesday, cruise, they're all gonna be on, so make sure you guys are going to check out all of them, and tell them the Bourbon Bar sent you. that being said, if you guys haven't liked the like and liked the like yet, make sure you guys hit the like button on your way out, also if you're not subscribed to the channel, do that, it helps us. And the memberships are back up, so if you guys want to help out in that regard, help us pay our taxes, because Lord knows we need it. But, um, thank you all for being here. Love you all. We'll see you all in the next class. Cheers. Peace out. Bye! Goodbye, everybody! That was, we're still live. They heard that. <laughs> that was delicious.